Hey, Joel McDonald, author of Google AdWords for Dummies. And today I'm going to talk about permission marketing versus interruption marketing. Now, those sound like very subtle differences, but they are worlds apart. And I attribute the difference to these two types of marketing to the reason that 90% of people fail when they first give AdWords advertising a try. So, um, how do I make such a bold claim? Well, in another video or two, I talked about how I took over management of an account and I reduced their clicks by over 75% and I increased their conversions or sales by over 800%. And I have a little bit of a confession to make. A large part of the reason for that success was due to one simple change in their AdWords account. Before, they were blending both permission type marketing as well as interruption marketing. And I simply stopped one of those types of marketing and drastically reduced clicks, but I was reducing the least effective types of traffic. So let's take a look at that. One of the biggest and most important things I did when I took over that account was I simply went to their settings page and changed from the search and display network to the search network only. One of those is permission marketing, one of those is interruption marketing, and there is a huge difference in performance. So to talk a little bit more about that difference in performance, let's think about permission marketing versus interruption marketing in these two ways. Let's just say that you own a local business, a dentist's office, a garage door company, anything that is a local business. And there are two types of advertising you could do. You could advertise in the phone book, or you could advertise with a billboard. Now, you probably get tens of thousands of views on your billboard, but you'd be lucky to get one or two phone calls from those tens of thousands of views. However, your ad might only get one or two views a week and you probably have very good odds of getting one or two phone calls a week by people going to the phone book and looking that up. That is the difference between permission marketing and interruption marketing. So I want you to keep that in mind and just from now on think of the Google search network. For example, Google search. When people go and type in a search and they see text ads, or they see uh, shopping ads, which are images of your products for sale, or even the search partners, which could be AOL um, or other search engines that just redistribute Google's information. That is permission marketing. People are looking for a solution that you have for them, and you have very, very high odds of converting that business. However, if you put a billboard up there, like I said, you might ha get 10,000 views a day and you'd be lucky to get one or two phone calls from those 10,000 views. That's the same thing. You could pay for a hundred visits from the Google search network and get one or two sales, or maybe even five or 10 or 20 leads from those same hundred visits. Whereas you could get a thousand, maybe even 2,000 visits from the display network, which is a lot more like advertising on a billboard than in a phone book, and get hardly any results. And sure, that display network traffic sounds good because maybe it's half the price, but if you do the math, half the price on 10,000 visits versus twice the price for 100 visits in the search network, you're most likely to be better off in the search network. So odds are, if you're struggling to see success, you might want to check those account settings and just take a look and make sure that you're advertising on the search network only. So let's review odds of success. There are some cases where interruption marketing might be good. So I want you to think about your company and classify yourself as either an e-commerce site or a lead gen site. Do you generate leads for your site and then have salespeople talk to customers and close the sale? Or do you add people to your list and slowly nurture that list and eventually get sales? Then great. Interruption marketing or the display network might work well for you. However, if you have to get people to pull their wallet out and buy a product on your website, you probably aren't going to see very much success with interruption marketing or the display network. So if you're selling something, you're going to have a lot better odds of success 
being on the search network only and using permission marketing again because they are looking for something that you have so does that mean you can't use the display network absolutely not but you really want to think about making a different type offer and those type offers can be a free report a newsletter free tips a free consultation and so on so as you'll see from a lot of the other videos that I have on this website I'm a big believer in turning on only the best performing networks until you max out those sales and then go to less likely to perform networks and see how those do so odds are if you're starting out with AdWords you should be doing search network only you should be doing permission type marketing only until you've maxed out that traffic after you've maxed out that traffic and you're making good and healthy profit margins only then should you expand into the display network and explore with some interruption marketing type ads and even then if you're selling something that you that you require people to buy on the website you should really consider changing that offer finding something to give away for free that you can just simply ask for a name and email for or ask them to make a phone call for that will give you higher odds of success when you're using the display network thanks for watching if you'd like more tips feel free to visit 2020 PPC and go to the performance tips link or just type in 2020 PPC.com slash performance tips